What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm Cody Snow and you're watching Snow Vision. And as you can see, we're out in the woods today. So you guessed it, we are foraging for some morel mushrooms and whatever other spring edibles we can find. So come along with me and see if we can find any of these tasty treats. Well, looky here, our first mushroom of the year. Perfect. All right. It's kind of funny that we find this one here. It actually looks like it's starting to dry out a little bit. It's still very early April, but we're gonna go ahead and cut this one because he ain't gonna get any bigger. He's starting to get a little bit dry around the edges, but. We're gonna tap him a little bit, help him get rid of them spores so we can find some here next year. All I'm really doing is working the west side of these little banks and hills because that's where it's gonna get the warmest in the afternoon. It's still really early, so I'm trying to look for the warmest soil as I can. And hopefully a few of them have popped through and just, uh, Got lucky enough to find this one and see if we can find a couple more. I hope I see a couple more here. I don't know if you guys are going to pick them up on the GoPro or not. We'll try to sneak in here. Oh, there's more in here than I thought there was. I don't know if you can see them here. I don't have very good lighting. Oh, a couple nice little ones. Ended up being one, two, three, four, five. This one looks like he's a little bit dry on top. I don't know why, this one's really silly, still wet pretty good. I like to check to see if they're still pretty moist or not, and that kind of helps me decide whether I'll let them stay a day or two, just to see if I get a little bit extra growth out of them, or go ahead and pick them today, because they ain't gonna get any bigger. This one's looking like he's not gonna get any bigger, so we're gonna go ahead and harvest him. go. Not a giant, but he'll taste good with some steak or fish. Sneaky bugger hiding in here. Oh, there's another one. I don't know how well you guys are going to pick it up. We'll pan over across, see if you guys can see it or not. This one actually looks like a pretty decent sized one right here. Look at that. He's got a buddy with him. Didn't even see him. Set these up here for now. Now look at this. Must be a nice little warm spot or just a couple spores laid up. Oh, there's three. Look, look at this. this. This is crazy. This guy, you start digging around and they start popping up on you. Look, I only seen that one when I first, which is a nice, nice mushroom here. <laughs> and look, there's these one, two other little ones that are with him. We're gonna go ahead and harvest this bigger one. Great. exciting.
Oh, there's some dark ones, some little dark baby guys. Oh, another one. <laughs> another one hiding. It's a perfect little one there. And then look, there's two other little ones right there. Just some dinky guys. Oh. It's still pretty moist. back in there. It looks like it. Man. Wish I had a little bit better camera for you guys so you guys can kind of get a better perspective of what I'm seeing because I know it's going to be really hard for you guys to see. But we've got this brush pile here and uh, the sun is shining, you know. It's in the evening time here and the sun's shining on the west side of this bank. And if you look back, you can kind of see where the sun is getting shine is shining through the brush here. And right down in there is where I found that little group of mushrooms just a little bit ago. And you can see the sun is shining right there. So it's, you know, the ground's getting a little bit warmer there than anywhere else. And the same here, I just ducked down and with that comes stickers, so make sure you're being careful, sorry. With that, you kinda gotta get down almost on your hands and knees. We'll climb back there and look at it and then turn around and show you guys, but the sun shine right through there and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's a morel all the way in the back there. Very hard to see, but maybe once we get in there, uh, we'll be able to see him a little better. Oh my goodness, yeah, it is a morel. Look at him all the way back in there. Tucked away. Hiding from me. Let's see, we untuck him if anything else pops out. I think we're gonna go ahead and harvest him. He looks like a fairly decent sized one. I'm just kind of looking around here, sorry. Just kind of looking around where I'm kneeling down here, just in case. I don't want to end up stepping on one of these little guys. Wow, look at this, guys. While I was looking for morels, I happened to stumble upon a wild asparagus here. Check this out. Looks like there's a little patch here. Stems from last year. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this home. Wild asparagus is delicious. Nice size one here. Well, thank you guys for coming along with me on this little foraging adventure. I'd really appreciate if you guys let me know if you like these videos or not by commenting below. And also, I'd like to leave you guys with little tidbits or thoughts I might have about honey morels and other little treats in the spring. Uh, I'm in eastern Nebraska is where I'm at, so take this with a grain of salt if you're somewhere else in the United States. But it's uh, early April right now. Morels generally run from early April to around mid-May, generally but I like to get out early April, start looking around, seeing what's growing, what birds are out. If the asparagus are growing, I know I'm pretty close to starting to see some morels pop up. I like to fill around, touch the soil. If the soil is warm to the touch or if it's still cold to the touch, uh, I know I've got a, you know, a couple nice days of warm weather left before they'll start thinking about popping up. Uh, this little adventure, I actually had a couple days of rain before I came out today. 
Uh, I usually like it to have a nice rain and then warm up in the next couple of days and I know they're gonna start popping. So just keep that in mind when you guys are out. And the biggest part is to get out, look around, enjoy the outdoors. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you. What's up? I guess <laughs> the video ain't over because I just really wanted to show you guys this because you just never know where you're gonna find these dang little suckers. Uh, right there's where I pulled in, right? And I walked all the way, you know, to the end of the lot where I normally spot these things. And I'm on my way back and I just have it. And I'm, you can see where the truck is. And there's a mushroom right there. So another thing I forgot to mention is once you find a mushroom, just stop. Stop where you're at and just start panning around. Cause this is just wild, you guys. I, I walk right through here coming in and I didn't notice one of these but I guess I had my mindset on a different spot. But check this out. So I was walking back. I seen that one, two right next to each other. I stopped, I started looking. And bam, there's a little pod right there. Oh, here. See, there's a little pod there. This is wild. And I'm just kept looking around. I just, I'm in total disbelief right now. There's one there. I just kept looking. I got down on my hands and knees. I'm just crawling around. This is wild. I've never found them here before. Some little pot here. Oh my goodness. And there's even more. Right there. This is this is crazy, you guys. Oh, get out. Start looking. They're out. They're popping.